put Arthur's hair on the skeleton. It looks like he just came out of a wig store. You know, Uncle, I'm starting to feel more like myself every day. Yeah, I'll go handle it. Excuse me. Excuse me. It keeps getting better. Every time a cutscene ends, he gets more clothing. I got a bone to pick with you. Look at me, dooch. I'm Skeletor, dooch. Now we gotta go find Karen. Give it all you got, Arthur. How strong are them bones? <laughs> That'll teach you to fight with the undead. Who's talking now? Huh? Who's talking now, bitch? Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellas. Nope, nope. The man you saw had skin. I don't have skin. Two different people. I love how he only has one complete arm. Look out, chickens. Nope. Well, looks like we found ourselves in a predicament. I'd hate for something to happen to you. Help me! Here, grab onto my strong hand. There you go. I got you. I got you. You owe me. Here. You want a pen? <laughs> the floating pen. Yeah, no lungs equals no tuberculosis. This is how we're going to survive up until the epilogue. Put on his whole outfit as a skeleton. I don't think it's going to line up right. Actually, that looks pretty good. <laughs> kind of. This might be his pants. Something doesn't quite look right. Something's not right about this. Uh, You're a skeleton. No, no, no. The boots don't look right. All right, let's go talk to Kieran. Dude, Bill gets way too into this. Yeah, yeah, come on, give me that. Uh, come on, Dutch. His wig is back? Yeah, yeah. I want to cut the hair, though, so it doesn't look like a duck bill sticking out the back of his neck. How is his skeleton not falling apart without muscles? The same magic that resurrected him from the dead is keeping his bones together. Is it possible to change the size of Arthur? Make it yeah, we can make him bigger or smaller. <laughs> You know what? I'll walk. See his hair? I told you guys, his hair gets all f***ed up. What about maybe this this tall? Three times the size. <laughs> the hair and the bandana, still pretty f***ed up, but this is manageable. I also love the floating bullet belt around his waist. There's no belt. It's all bullets. Yeah, look how tiny the gun is. If he's three times his size, then the gun should be three times. There we go. Nothing like a nice vanilla playthrough. That's the thing is like after you play with mods for so long, eventually you just want to go back and just play a normal Red Dead Redemption 2 playthrough. It feels good to just get back to, you know, the way the game was intended to be. No mods whatsoever. All right, guys, we got to go in real stealthy. Make sure these O'Driscolls don't see me. I went to an Avenged Sevenfold concert like many years ago and they had this giant skeleton on stage. This is what it reminds me of. Clearing out, All right. There'll be a bunch of fellers hiding up. I wish he stayed big for the cutscenes, because how funny would that be? If they showed like the gang on the on the ridge and then you have this giant skeleton. Oh, what we're back. Giant skeleton's board. back. Arthur! You're sitting on my head, Arthur! Keep it down, John. I got him, Bill. You leave it to me. I'll take the lead. Alright, guys, I know we're here! Imagine having a giant skeleton on your side. Oh, my hat fell off. I want to talk to Como Driscoll. Dude, skeleton Arthur just cleaning house. I think we scared him. Dude, there's no way I can fit through that door to check the chimney. I'm going to try and squeeze in here. Dude, my hat won't fit through the door, let alone my entire giant skeleton body. I'm going to have to shrink myself back down. Man, game is stubborn. Game knows what it wants. This sucks. Help. <laughs> Dude, the gun is right to his head. Easy, Arthur. Easy. All right, dude. Things have changed. The whole world's changed. Yeah, things have really changed, Arthur. Yep, just a little bit of bro time. Me and Lenny out here grabbing a drink. It'd be cool if he drank, and then like the, you could see the liquid go down his body. <laughs> I got no digestive system. You're gonna have to drink one for me, Lenny. Who the f*** is this guy? <laughs> oh, I'll leave him alone, all right. Wait for it. Wait for it. Beat him. Will you shut the hell up? Get the hell off me! Don't come back now, yep. Arthur, you got a little bit of, a little bit of whiskey trickling down your spine. Oh, there's our boy. Let's go talk to Big Tommy. I'm back for more, Tommy. That's actually kind of sad, man. Arthur left him brain dead. I mean, dude, Tommy threw me through a fucking window and the glass cut me so bad it removed all my skin. Like, I'm not supposed to feel too bad about Tommy's brain damage. I mean, the fact that he still has his skin and I don't have mine. I mean, I, I think that's a fair trade. 
<laughs> Settle down. Oh, we get to see Skeleton Arthur in the uh, in the can can line. Yes, we don't have to fight. Let's just dance. <laughs> He's slapping him with, <laughs> he doesn't have a hand. Dude, chapter two is the best, the best chapter, hands down. Save yourself, lady. Nope, go, 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 go. You can actually get away. Hop the fence, right? Go, go, go. If you don't hop the fence, you get thrown in jail. Oh no, he's dead. Arthur, you okay? Arthur, wake up, Arthur. Yo, is he okay? Oh, oh, thank God. This is Arthur waking up in the epilogue. It's been eight goddamn years, Dutch. I still got some fight in me, Micah. I love to see a skeleton throwing up, but he doesn't have a stomach. Where's it coming from? <laughs>